Today's science lesson is called Sink or Float. This lesson may take at least two days. However, today we are going to focus only on the objects that sink and the objects that float. We are looking at the similar characteristics that each object has, the ones that sink and the ones that float. Before the children place the object into the container with water, they will use or they will predict what will happen to the objects. Then they will use the sink or flow chart we have here and we will graph, to graph it together. We will write what has happened to the object. Did the object sink? Did the object float? Next the children will be group and each group will have a container of water and a variety of objects. The children will predict what will happen to the objects first. They will use an activity sheet. This activity sheet, on this activity sheet, they will say whether or not the objects, they think the objects will float or the objects will sink. Then they will place the object into the water. They will observe what has happened and record what they haven't seen. Did the object sink? Did the object float? Then they'll move on to centers, and each center will be designed where the children will have activities to do. Here, on this center, the children will make books. They'll use crayons, the scissors, the pencil marker, whatever they need to make their books. In their book, they will write, sink or float. They will also list the objects that floated and the objects that sank. At this center, we'll use the computer. The children can write two to three sentences stating the why the objects, why they think the objects sank and why they think the objects floated. They can also use the printed picture sheet, which I do have here. Using the printed picture sheet, the children can cut out the pictures and place it into their activity sheet as well. At the center, they also have access to an assessment sheet I do have here. In the assessment sheet, the children will draw the pictures of the objects that sank and the pictures of the objects that floated. This will conclude our lesson for today.